Alright, we talked to you guys earlier about uh, binoculars being waterproof, water resistant, and, and things like that, and, and how that related to uh, internal fogging. Um, but there's another aspect we want to talk to you about, and that's external fogging of um, your optics, and that's an important thing to take into consideration. Um, right now, um, uh, we're not really um, yet in conditions that will uh, usually bring about external fogging because it's pretty dry and, and the temperature is pretty good. But out here in the west, when, it's, when the sun starts going down, um, it can cool off pretty quick, and you might find yourself in conditions where it starts cooling off really fast. And, and those are the conditions when um, what happens is, is you're, you're looking through your binoculars, you bring them up to your eyes, and uh, the moisture from your face or the moisture from your air and, and then the heat from your face will begin to make water condense on the outer surface of those ocular lenses and cause them to fog up. So there's some things that you can do to avoid that happening. Uh, one easy thing is like right now you can see I'm wearing a hat. If you just turn it around backwards that'll help you know dissipate some heat away from your face a little bit easier so when you're holding the binoculars up to your, your face you'll, you'll kind of get that heat away. Um, the other thing you can do is, um, you know, normally you're going to want to have your eye cups twisted up if you're not wearing glasses. Um, you can try twisting them down and, uh, and holding them a little bit away from your face or, or resting them on, up on your, your brow ridge or something like that. Um, that just um, gives you more air movement around those ocular lenses to help um, get that moisture and that heat away from those lenses to keep them from fogging up. Yeah, and we should point out that all, all optics will do this, regardless of whether you have a nitrogen purged, submergibly waterproof model. Any optic is subject to this external fogging. You, you just you can't help it. It's it's you know it's simple weather conditions that cause that. Sam had pointed out a couple nice tips that can help out a lot when you do that. Um, I know that if you get out, we're in some pretty warm conditions here today. But if you get out and it's it's very cold when you're down in the uh, 20s, teens, single digit temperatures. It's, it's very difficult to avoid doing this. You really have to be careful of it because when it does, it, it will actually layer a layer of frost right over the glass and then you have to clean that off. What I find myself doing are many of the tips Sam offered. I, I do collapse these eye cups down. I try to keep that gap from my face so the air will flow through there. I also be careful to glass for short periods of time and then pull that glass away from my face and give it a chance to cool back off again before it frosts. Uh, the spotting scopes are particularly susceptible to that. They have less eye relief than the binoculars. They do demand that your eye get closer. What I find in very cold conditions with the spotting scopes is best is to take very short, quick looks and then get your face back very quickly because it will frost on you very quickly. And another option, too, that you can look into is uh, um, Vortex, for instance, has got a product that's an anti-fog um, cleaning solution. You can put that right on your ocular lenses, use it to clean the lenses off, and it actually puts an anti-fog layer on that lens so that it, it just helps um, uh, reduce the risk that you're going to get fogging on that. And so that's just another thing you can do to, to try and avoid having that happen.